All right. Honestly, I'm going to say this once again. I, say, I feel like I said this. I feel like I'm saying this quite a bit. I can't believe I have to make this video again. Or, you know, make another video on this topic. Smoke pot rogues. How did we get here? How, how, how? You know, I'm going to be honest. Whenever I made my last video talking about the state of the game and going over smoke pot rogues, I really didn't think people would be as dumb as they were. I didn't. I really didn't. I thought, especially with me showing video proof of it, people would be like, wow, man, that sucks. Because I've seen a lot of stuff most people say. Is most people understand how bad it is and just how unfun it is to play against. But, you know, my YouTube comments never cease to amaze me. Because there are truly some dumb people in there. But, with that being said, uh, let's go over this one more time for the people in the back. Smoke Pot Rogues. Why is it that I have such a big issue with them? Well, one... And, you know, bear with me here before you jump into my comments saying, you know, you don't get to determine who's playing the game or not. They're not playing the game. What do I mean by that? Well, they queue up, you know, naked or relatively naked uh, with very little loose. I mean, you know, I've like, over this like 200 HP if you're in Pathfinder because that's generally where they are. They queue up. Solo, duo, trio. It doesn't matter. You know, it varies depending on the person. But they don't do anything. Generally speaking, what they will do is they will go somewhere with a high vantage point. So, you know, they'll, like, hop on top of ruins. Or top of the middle where, like, you know, the, uh, the pillars and everything is, you know, somewhere. They will just run around somewhere like that. And they'll kind of just, like, sit up there and move around. And they'll look for wherever the gear teams are. Whenever they find them, they'll kind of just scout you out. And they will just watch you and follow you around the map. They'll follow at a distance that you can't kill them easily not saying you can't you can see this is actually pretty funny to note uh somebody said uh you just want to be able to run around and kill everybody like you know you're complaining about not being able to kill somebody that can't even kill you nope that's wrong uh funny but it's wrong because that just shows that you know you i don't i'm assuming you didn't watch the video at all or you know, just weren't paying attention to the video but you know that's 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 neither here nor there but that's that's not the thing uh it's not that i can't kill them because i can if i decided if i was determined to chase a rat rogue around the map, I would kill him, 100%. It's only, I mean, it's its gonna happen. It's only a matter of time. There's only so far he can run. Or I'll force him to take a blue or something like that. I, but I, I would kill him. But the thing is, it's, so so what what do I gain from that, you know? It's, I, I chase this rat rogue halfway around the map before I finally kill him, because that's what it would take. It would take chasing him pretty much a mile away because of how fast they are and how hard they are to kill. I chase him all this way to kill him, and then what do I gain? Um. You know, the health pots and bandages he brought in. Maybe a campfire for him to sit in the zone. His green light foot boots. Whatever he may have on. If he even has that. Hell, maybe he, can even, maybe he didn't even bring that much. So, I chased this guy all the way. I got literally nothing for killing him. I wasted a ton of time. And, you know, not really many resources. But a ton of time killing this guy. Because that's the thing. You don't one-tap them. It usually takes at least two hits. Maybe a really geared ranger would one-tap a naked one. But probably not. They headshot them, you know, then then maybe. If you headshot them, you, you would definitely kill a naked. Uh, same with a crossbow. But, you know, trying to headshot a rogue that has smoke pots and invis and is just generally very fast because they're naked, not an easy thing to do. So, now my two choices are I chase this guy really, really far to kill him for no gain, or I don't chase him and I just kind of let him stalk me and... I fight a team, and after I fight the team, I have to then fight them off from getting the gear. My gear. Because, you know, this is actually something else that's funny, where it's like, oh, so it's your gear now. Yes, when I kill somebody, generally speaking, the loot on their body would be considered my gear now, because I am the one that is about to loot it. Because I just killed them, and there's no one else around, they should be able to loot it. If I get third party and the team fights me and pushes me off, that is now their gear. But, you know, that's just you know, neither here nor there. But generally speaking, yes, I'm going to call that my gear, and I kill a team, and I'm about to loot them. But after I kill that team, I then have to loot, you know, I have to loot the bodies. However, let's say, for example, one of my teammates died. You know, this is a great example. Let's say, for example, one of my teammates died. So now I have to grab his stuff and I have to res him. Or, you know, let's say I want to get a campfire down, get a really fast reset. We don't want to have to loot all three bodies. You say maybe they're a little bit spread out. Like, so I, I'll get into this a little bit more for the, this specific example in a second. Um, the problem is... So whenever you know rat rogues in a lobby, which is pretty much all the time, the way you have to play is incorrectly. What do I mean by that? Generally speaking, like I said, you win a fight, uh, let's say a cleric or a wizard or, you know, something that has spell uses. You want to sit down, you want to get your spell uses back, you get second win back, you know, get whatever you need back. Heal up, 
all that get ready in case another third party shows up. However, whenever rat rogues are added into the equation, you know what you have to do? If you kill a team, you have to instantly loot them. You have to instantly open those bodies and take every piece of gear off them that's worth anything. Because if you don't, they will be gone 15 seconds tops. Now, you're like, oh, you're exaggerating. Well, let me let me just pull up a little clip really quick, actually. Let me let me let me just pull up this clip from earlier on repose the stream because this is a very good example because this happened like I said this happened earlier. Uh, let's see right here, ten hour vod. I think I had I had this earlier because I I I've recorded I've recorded this video before, but I split it up. Let's see where are we at so. I recorded this video before, and I was talking about Gold Gear, which will be another video that's uploaded uh, today. I don't know if I'll upload these at the same time or upload one tomorrow. But basically, there were two videos, and I was going to... Or there was one video, and I recorded it. was going to go over this and Gold Gear and the crybabies about that. However, I decided to split it up because the video ended up being a bit too long. Okay, here we go. Let's go right here. All right, boom. So, they're fighting this gold team. See, there's a fighter right there. Uh, Retsy dies. So, you see, Retsy dies, and they kill this Gold Gear fighter. Right? So let's see where we're at. We are at... Let's see when this guy dies. Boom. And he's dead. And he's dead. We're at 38, 32 in the VOD. So... And you see... The, 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 you can't really tell where the zone is. However, the zone is closing in because he's about to be in the zone. So we are at 38... You know, like I said, like 32 in the VOD. He grabs Retsy stuff. He's going up. You see, like... You see the zone? The zone's closing in right here. Keep in mind, Promos is still roughly around the body's location. I need to turn sexy a little bit better. Where we at? Honestly, I don't even know where Promos is. Promos is down there. I, you know, honestly, it's cool. I even know there's a restaurant here. It's cool. Good to know. Good information. So Promos, like I said, you see Promos is right here. The body's generally in this area right around here. And as you saw, there was no one else there. No one. So he gets a res off on Retsy. You know, gets a... Uh, and I, I would say he was pretty fast about this too, right? He was pretty fast about that res. You know what I mean? He had to clear some things. But for the most part, he was pretty fast about it. Keep in mind, Promos is still r roughly over here. I don't, it's just, Hold on, I'm like healing a little bit. Let's see, does he say it? I'm lagging too. What is it? Bro, I can't loot anything. Hello? Okay, I, I don't okay, well, I don't know if he says I, I don't know if he like says anything about it. Okay, here. Here we are. Oh. Does he check it right here? Or does he go around? And he goes around. He's like dropping Retzia's stuff. And they walk back. And the guy's body's looted. The guy's body is completely, you know, basically completely naked. In, what, two and a half minutes? So, their teammate died, and he went up to res him. Didn't even take long to res him, like I said, about two and a half minutes. And they were on the very edge of the zone. The zone was closing out. Promos was, the thing is, Promos was even in this area. And in that time, somebody ran up looted this fighter's entire kit you know basically and dipped and how do you how do you how do you counter this do you know what you do you have to instantly loot this guy's entire kit however you know he looted his he looted his wizard's kit so we can go revive him and drop him his stuff the ranger has a bunch of arrows they have to carry and you know whatever else has inventory so if he wants to loot this guy's kit you have to do he has to drop all of his arrows on the ground and then become a useless character and normally, no one in their right mind would ever tell you, oh, like, you know, that's the, obviously you should drop all your arrows and pick up the guy's kit. Because why wouldn't you? Well, let's say another team pushes and you have a bunch of gear and no arrows. You can't fight anyone. However, in the meta we are in with this, people, this is what you have to do. When they die, you have to loot their whole body. Or you come back and it'll be like this. You come back and the, uh, good, uh, ah, God, I can't speak. The loot will be gone this happened uh earlier let me search up let's search up let's see, let's see if we can find juye stream let's see if juye was streaming because this happened this happened to them earlier too let's see where are we at uh i think it was towards the end of the stream when they died i just i just want to see this let me see if i can find this I don't remember exactly where it is, but oh, oh, ah, yeah, I think I found it. So let's see. Honestly, this is better from Chulo's POV, but it's okay. So they fight a team, they like die. Chulo's, you know, Chulo's healing. Look, 
Look at this. This so so they're dead. They're dead like over here behind where this ranger is, right? And I, how how long ago did they even die? Let's see. So Apollo died, you know. So like I said, they they die here. Apollo dies here. Juye's uh already dead over there. Apollo even drops down. But they died at 23306 in the VOD. He backs off, he's surging. We are at 23340. 30 seconds it has taken for rats to show up. And they are running at these bodies. And you know what the best part? So this is one game. Let's go to the game before this. You know, let's let's check this game. Watch this. Where's uh let's see, let's see. Oh, I think I found what I was looking for. Look at this. The fight is still pretty much going on. I think Juye died, what, 20 seconds ago? Tops? Yep, he's alive right now. We're at, he dies at 2 at 214. Let's see. 214, 55. He's dead. Now let's see how long it takes. Let's see how long it takes for the smoke pot rogues to show up. You know, there's like fights, fights still actively going on over here. And, oh, hold on, here it comes. I, I know he's, he's going to turn around. So, oh, I respect that. Apollo POV. I don't want this. Go back. I don't care about the fight. Oh, here it, boom. Look at this. What, is it, what did I say? 2.14.56? We're getting faster. This didn't even take 30 seconds. And this guy already has the gold cape. And probably his jewelry on, too. And smoke pot. Just for the people that say this doesn't happen, or this is just me complaining, look at it. This game is ridiculous. And like I said, that was two games back to back. The fight isn't even over yet, and then you have to deal with that. And that right there is just what I'm saying, is you have to play the game incorrectly. Let's say, like I said, let's say you're fighting somebody. Fighter Ranger Cleric. I mentioned this earlier. I went, I'm going back to it. Let's say Fighter Ranger Cleric, right? Fighter Ranger Cleric versus Fighter Ranger Cleric. Let's say you kill their fighter. You push, you're push. you pushing backwards. the uh, like You're pushing towards their Ranger and their Cleric who's backing off. If you don't stop and instantly loot that body on the ground of anything valuable, when you get back after killing those last two, it won't be there. There will be nothing on it. Like I showed a minute ago in that repose clip, there will be nothing there. And all these people that are saying, like, oh, yeah, like, you know, rogues are so bad. What else are they supposed to do? This is Repose, who's obviously, once again, I'm going to go back to him because he's the premier rogue player, even said this earlier. And honestly, I agree. He said if that is the, if the character is so bad that that is the only play style, they should just delete the character. Because that play style, it is cancerous. There is no better way to describe it. It is just a cancerous play style that should not be enabled in this game. It pretty much ruins the entire experience for everyone else. And all the people are like, oh, well, they're having fun. No, they're not doing it because they're having fun. They're doing it because it's the easiest way in the uh, game to get gear. It takes zero skill. And because the thing is, even if you die, guess what? You didn't lose anything. You have everything to gain and like 200 AP to risk, which no one cares about. But yeah, um, that pretty much sums it up i think honestly i just like i just want to make this video because it's just funny seeing all these people defend smoke pot rogues it's like i know for a fact you have never experienced it before in your life you have never had good enough gear or played at a high enough level to experience dealing with smoke pot rogues and it's just it shows and if you're defending like or, or you just do it yourself and that's why you're defending it because you you're not good enough to get gear and you're an easy way to do it i mean hell i don't know gotta be one of those though because no person in their right mind is going to defend that and think oh yeah that's fun that's good for the game but yeah, uh, that pretty much sums it up. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. But until next time, peace.